everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today we're running up to Old Bridge, New Jersey to Monteith Lumber. We'll meet with my friend Buzzy and he'll show us around. I'm picking up a few boards for my next project and I wanted to mention a few things that you always want to take with you when you go to the lumber yard. A pair of gloves, a tape measure, your material list or something to write on, and a pencil. Okay, let's go. I'll introduce myself. Hi, I'm Buzzy. This is Monteith Lumber. The majority of the things we do are restoration work, matching moldings from architect drawings, pretty much anything anybody dreams up, we figure it out and make it. The idea in here is that we keep our moldings in five different species to accommodate a lot of uses. Poplar to paint, and it can be stained as well. Red oak, cherry, sapili, which is the substitute for mahogany these days, and cherry. Well, this material is bologna. It's a wood from Asia originally. It's a product that's especially suited for exterior use. It's very light in weight. The wood is extremely stable. It comes primed and pretty much ready to go. And most of the customers are using it for exterior trim or soffit material in a tongue and groove edge and centerpiece. Some customers do use it inside. The stability helps when they're building something like a coffered ceiling that's gonna be painted. They'll begin their framework with this. It's very, very light and weight. What you see here is the sapili, which is our substitute for mahogany, and uh, it's readily available. It's available in plywood. We do stock the moldings, and of course we stock the lumber, so uh, no problem for any kind of construction. It is generally available in, in most wood products. It's excellent exterior. It tends to be used and then painted. Interior use is always for the decorative aspect of the wood. It's a beautiful wood, takes a nice finish, but the exterior application is because it's, it's very tough, it's, it's weather resistant, and a very good substitute for, oh, western red cedar or something that may be used outside. This is a little more durable in the Northeast. Our general sales volume is in not just the Sibili, but red oak, hard maple, soft maple, and of course poplar, which is the most predominant because of, uh, because of the cost and all of the uses of it. We keep it machined all four sides, pretty much ready to go, as well as random width and length lumber that our final customer will deal with making whatever they want out of it, size-wise or shape. It brings us to hard maple, which is very popular these days and has been for quite a number of years. Uh, again, this material's already been machined. And then, of course, walnut, the same way. And then we get involved with some, some species that are selected by character as opposed to um, the grade. And that would be an example in this wood. This is simply soft maple. However, it's been graded for the wormholes and character. It's a little bit of a something different, and that's the appeal. So it's selected this way, but it ultimately it is just soft maple, not the way you would normally buy it. We do sell plywood here. It becomes kind of a necessity because of the nature of our business. We have a lot of people coming in 
four lumber or moldings, and they'll need a little plywood to go with it. So we tend to we tend to carry that really for the customer's benefit. If it's available in here in lumber, we try to make it available where possible in plywood. Walnut lately has has come back into popularity in a big way. It's always been it's always been used and it's always been popular. However, now the popularity is kind of spiking and we tend to try to keep it in some other thicknesses besides the common four and five quarter. We go to 12 and even 16 quarter. We do get a lot of hobbyists too, John, and homeowners. And we keep a variety of species from around the world when we can obtain it. Um, an example is here. Some of the more common ones would be purple heart and zebra wood and African paduk. Um, some of the rosewood substitutes. This is this is an actual rosewood. This is a bacote, and then here we have. Murado is all of this. We do handle some figured woods and try to keep it separated. And this is Wangi, again an African hardwood, specialized uses, mostly high-end furniture or accent strips. If you're in the neighborhood, stop by and check us out. I think you'd find the place interesting. We have uh, a lot going on all the time, and see you then. Okay, well now I'm back in the shop. I've picked up some really nice boards and I'm ready to get to work on Monday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little loud in the lumber yard. Not much I could do about that. Lumber yards can be kind of noisy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.